My father was murdered when I was 16 years old, and here's my story. I'm Donna, Pastor Kelly's wife, and tonight we wanted to talk about forgiveness. I wanted to just share with you guys a story, uh, something that happened to me when I was 16 years old. Um, my father was murdered by a man in a, in a little town here in Texas, and I knew the man. I knew who he was. He, he did it openly. In broad daylight, everybody there was no question about who 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 killed him. Everybody knew. I also knew that the cops would let this man go scot free and never spend any time in jail, which that's exactly what happened. The man was never held accountable for that, for that murder. And so it sent me into sort of like a spiral. I just I just started self-destructing and for 11 years I shot drugs and 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 drinked uncontrollably and and just just like I said I was just on a mission it seemed like of self-destruction and I had hate and anger and bitterness had filled me to the point to where I couldn't even love myself I couldn't I, I just was going through the motions and, and it was just an angry time for me and it seemed like I couldn't get high enough, I couldn't get drunk enough, I couldn't party enough, I couldn't love enough, I couldn't I couldn't do anything enough and I was I, all the time I was I was just eating up, eating up with, with bitterness and anger. When I turned and I wanted to kill this man. I wanted to kill him myself. I wanted to go there and kill him. Um, and I thought about it many times, many times through the years. Well, 11 years later, I came to Christ and, um, I just surrendered everything. I, I, I God just filled me with his love and he filled me with, with, with so much. He, he replaced everything. He replaced the bitterness. He, he replaced the anger. He replaced the hate, and um, he showed me mercy, he showed me love. So one day I was reading my Bible, and I came across the scripture that talks about forgiving others so God will forgive you. And I thought, man, God's forgiven me of a lot of things. I and I knew what I had done. I knew what all I had done in my life and how much Jesus had for, came in and forgiven me of, of these things. And, and um, I knew that I needed to forgive this man. And I knew exactly what I needed to do. So I loaded up my two sons and, and I went over, I drove over to this little town. I wanted them to see firsthand how forgiveness works. So I went into the place of business where the where the man the man owned a business there in the town and I went in there and I told him who I was and he was totally in shock. I told him that I hated him and I wanted to kill him. But for for all those years that I had hated him. But I was forgiving him. Now I was I was I was living a life for Christ and and how the Jesus had forgiven me and 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 how I was born again and and I wanted to let him know that I forgave him and I asked him about his own soul about if he was if he was born again and and these things but I would like to say he 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 got born again that day he let me lead him to Christ but he didn't he was in such shock and but when I left let me tell you what did happen that day when I left that place, I felt so much lighter. I felt the weight of the world was off my shoulders. I felt that burden that I had drug around for that 10, 11 years was gone. It was completely lifted. I felt so much lighter. I felt like I had I had really let go of something that had weighted me down for all this uh, for all that many years. And I want to know something tonight. Who do you need to forgive? And I know it's hard. I, I am not saying that, that I was able to do any of that. But God in you is well able and ready. Holy Spirit's ready 
to help you, to lead you, to forgive that person. Sometimes it's a little bit harder if that person is still in your life and still doing that thing over and over and over to you. It's hard. But I'm going to tell you something. Once you, once you realize God and His love for you and how much He values you and how much He wants you to let that go because it's weighing you down and it's keeping you from your purpose, then you can let it go. Because it's destruction. It's, it's like poison holding on to it. It's like a cancer. It's like a disease. And it eats away at you. But once you learn that, once you learn about Christ and His love, I want to just read a scripture real quick. Colossians 3 and 12 says, So chosen by God for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God has picked out for you. And it is compassion, Kindness, humility, quiet strength, and d discipline. Forgive as quickly and completely as the Master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Never be without love. And you can find that love through Christ because that's how much He loves you. And that's how, how He is... His mercy is new over you every day. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. It doesn't matter. See, mercy don't care what you did five minutes ago. Mercy is new right now for you. Yeah. I want to just say a prayer with y'all. And um, maybe, some, maybe you don't have to forgive somebody that murdered your loved one. But maybe they did something so horrific to you. And maybe they're still doing it to you. Maybe it's something that you need to let go so that you can come up to where you need to be in life, so that you can find your primary purpose because the bitterness and the anger and the hate is weighing you down. Let's just pray and agree with me right now. Father God, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for doing the work on the cross. We know you're the one true living Son of God, and you died, and you took our place on the cross. We know that. We believe that. We believe your Lord and Master and Savior. But help, help us for, with this unforgiveness. Help uh, teach us, Holy Spirit, how to let that go. Father God, show us, open our eyes to who we are in you. And what we must mean to you. Father, we want your forgiveness. We want your love. We're tired of this weight. We're tired of this cloud. This over us daily. Show us how to forgive. Teach us how to love like you love. And in all these things we pray. We desire your will. Not our own. And Father God, you be their judge. Just call that person's name out. If you can't say it out loud, just say it in your mind. I forgive whoever it is. And Father, help me to forgive myself. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight.